Hey friends, so today I'm going to talk to you about an amazing, unique summer job opportunity. Now in the summer, everyone wants to relax. School's finally out, but most of us have to work to save some money for university, for life, maybe for traveling. So why not make that a great experience? Now the job that I will share much detail about is an amazing opportunity. But first, ask yourself these questions. Are you a university student studying at a Canadian institution? Do you speak both national languages in Canada, English and Francais? Are you a Canadian citizen? If you answered yes to all of those questions, keep listening because I am going to tell you about the amazing job that I worked last summer. Now, I worked as a parliamentary tour guide in the summer of 2019, and I can honestly say with confidence it was one of the best experiences of my entire life. I applied online, uh, which is the process now. If you head to the website, which I'll link down below, you might even see a, a familiar face. So. As a parliamentary tour guide, you will be working in Ottawa at the parliament buildings. Now, normally this would take place in the center block, which is the heart of Canadian democracy. However, for the next 10 to 15 years, the center block is closed due to restoration processes. Now, during that time, the government's work must go on, so that's why they move things around a little bit. The House of Commons is now in the west block, and the Senate, our upper chamber of government, is now in the former Ottawa train station just down the road. Now, if the words House of Commons and Senate mean nothing to you, don't worry. Luckily, your knowledge on Canadian democracy is not one of the factors that they look at when hiring. You'll learn plenty of Canadian history on the job through your thorough training. Now, before I worked as a parliamentary guide, I knew nothing about politics. I didn't have to have an interest in politics, but through all the work and learning I did, I started to love it. But that just shows you they want a variety of students. I'm an education student. Uh, we had lots of political science students, but we also also had engineering students and arts students. This diverse group of students were able to be the leaders of Canada. Now we had guides from almost every province. Sadly, no one from Prince Edward Island came out this year. Islanders apply. And the territories, we didn't have any representatives from there either. But the best part of this entire job for me was the amazing friendships I made. A lot of us were new to Ottawa, so we discovered the city together. We went to museums, we experienced Canada Day on Parliament Hill, which was something on my bucket list I didn't know that I'd ever be able to accomplish. And we would go out at night, and we really got to know each other. Now I have friends for life who I still keep in contact with. And if you watch some of my vlogs from the summer, you'll get to see those friendly faces. Now, if you do get an email saying that they are wanting to have you for an interview, uh, they'll arrange your transportation to get there. For example, I was the only applicant from Saskatchewan, so my friends, please represent us. I actually got flown out to Vancouver to have my interview. Now, the job has some competitive things that you might be interested in. How are you going to get to Ottawa, you might ask? Well, if you don't live in the capital region, they will pay your flight or your train to get to the city. Your wage is a beautiful $17.58 per hour, and there's a $1,000 stipend that you might receive if you complete your contract. Now, you also get a spiffy uniform and the opportunity to practice your second language. So I got much practice uh, with French over the summer. I met visitors from all around the world who I was able to communicate with, and I met a lot of Spanish visitors. So I gave myself the goal of learning Spanish over the summer so I could communicate with even more people. Now, just a disclaimer, I am not sponsored by the Parliamentary Guide Program. I'm just sharing this information because I truly, truly loved the job. Now, the deadline to apply and get the opportunity to embark on this amazing adventure is January 12th of 2020. So get your applications in. You get to live in a new place, a big city perhaps, if you come from a small town Saskatchewan like yours truly. But it was amazing because now I have those memories. I've seen the new side of the country and now I'm like, hey, maybe I'll move there someday. So it really opens doors for you. Once you get a job in the parliament, hey, you can use that to go even further. My favorite parts were definitely meeting so many amazing people from around the world, learning so much. Um, I never liked history and now it's the class I chose to teach in my internship this fall just because of all the learning I did over the summer and I realized I have a passion for it. Now you might also receive the opportunity to work in the East Block which is a historic tour. They have four historic offices including the office of our first Prime Minister Sir John A. Macdonald, the office of the first Governors General of Canada including Lord Dufferin, Sir George H. N. Cartier's office and the first Privy 
council chamber. Now, I love that building because they've tried to keep it as historically accurate as possible, so it felt like working in a museum. The guide program also gave us many opportunities in the city through our training. We got to go see Rideau Hall, we got to go to the Supreme Court of Canada, and we were even invited to a party at the Speaker's House. So all these great things came to me because of the Parliamentary Guide program, and I just think it's such a great thing to do if you want to make new friends, learn about your country, and improve your second language. So if you guys have any questions, do leave them below and let me know if you apply. I'd love to see people go through this amazing adventure as I did.